There's something, is there something going on you ain't telling us about? Nah, I believe it's just the love out here, man. They love me out here. Yeah, and it's not even been the last three hours. Let's try three days. <laughs> they love me out here. Hey, that's dope right there. The one girl, she bullied us. She was like, you got them Day Day tickets? Whoa. I believe Day Day tickets. <laughs> Whoa. Hold on. Oh, man. Man, congratulations on um, all your success. The brand new single. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's crazy, yo. Did you see it coming? Back to back. I knew that was going to be it, though. Yeah, that's soon as I, soon as I got finished with that song, I sent it to my DJ Playboy. DJ Playboy been playing, he went crazy. That thing Listen. is serious in the club. <laughs> yes. I, it gotta be fun performing it. Yes. Yes. And the crazy thing is, uh, recently for Halloween, now I went to a party with a good mixed crowd, but when your song dropped, even our Caucasian friends was like, oh! <laughs> they went crazy, like they are literally loving you, so. No, you got yes. some. Yes. Yes. I love it. <laughs> I get the same reaction when I perform. When I perform, man, them folks be like, them folk. I let them get up there with me. I get down there with them. I turn up spinach. But they appreciate that. <laughs> I know it. I love it. Hey, that's what's up. How the tour going? Tour going very, very good. You know, packing out shows, you know, meeting new fans. I'm interacting with them, you know what I mean? They seeing my face. Or some of them first time seeing me in person. Right. You know what I mean? So, that's just, a, I love the reaction when they see me. You know what I mean? I, I, I feel good. I feel Feeling good. You, Let's see. you in for a treat tonight, cause um, mm -hmm. they they waiting on you, man. I can't wait. Can't they lie. need to beat me up. <laughs> you got to beat me up. I'm trying to turn up. Yeah. I already know it. I'm Listen. Turn up. And I mean, when I read your story, like you have such a humbling background and you're such a humble person on top mm -hmm. of that. Like, yes. I mean, just for you to go through what you went through and how you really hustled yes. and supported your dream. Like yes. you didn't go out here asking people like, hey, can you support me? You did it yourself, exactly. you know? And I mean, how do you think that kind of shaped you for where you are now? I think it just, it just helped me out with my career. It just let me know, it just let people know that the authentic in me. Right. It just let people know like, the drive that I had within music, you know, um, because it's a lot of people, you know, you can get in the game, you, you can have fun with it, but the passion that I have in it and, and, and how my situation happened was all a blessing. So I'm just I'm just glad to be here to be talking to people and for right. people to be interacting with me and loving my song. It's just yeah. amazing. And with that being said right there, can you give somebody the up and coming artists some advice? Man, just stay focused. Just, mm -hmm. just don't get, don't, don't get frustrated with the music. Cause there get times where you feel like you put too much money and too much time in, and mm -hmm. you ain't getting enough feedback. So you just give up at times. So it, I've been at points like that. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, I'm just telling people like, keep going, keep grinding, meet DJs, go footwork, go, you know, go to open mics. Whatever open mics going on in the go. area, yeah. go to open mics. Go, 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 go talk to people that you haven't talked to. Go pass out CDs. It's, it's a lot with that music to get your music heard. If you want if you want a lot of people to hear your music, you got to get out there and, right. and work it. You know, right. internet yeah. going on right now. Get on your social and build your fan base. Right. You know, it's, exactly. it's a lot. And that's all hustling. You know, yes. like, you know, you haven't really asked anybody for help. No. You know, you just really did this all yourself. That's you know, right. which, I mean, obviously you're blessed. You know, because people now know you. They love your music, you know, and they're excited to see you. And is it true that you actually came up with the lyrics for uh, What You Mean While You Were At Work? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing concrete and flooring. And I was just, one day I was just freestyling in my head. I always freestyling in my head, you know, when I was working. And I don't know, I was just coming up with this hard bar. Right. And I just said it was too hard. I just hurry up, cut the machine off, pulled out my phone and wrote it down. I know that's right. And I don't know, I just, after, after, after I came up with two bars, I just called the producer and I was like, man, please, let, let's get in the studio tonight. Let's put it together. Got one. Come on. Right. right. Yeah, you see, you do. Because people scene. go crazy when that song drops, honey. Yes. They go it. crazy. Super up. Very crazy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. Ego tonight, people. Mm -hmm. Day Day performing live on stage. Matter of fact, go ahead and introduce that song for me, Day. Yo, 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 what up, man? This is my new single called Spin It. Spin hey. the check and get it right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people say the choice of film. <laughs>